What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tobias and as y'all can see it is early as hell and it's also cold as hell. But today we finna throw ourselves some smoked turkey legs on my Pit Boss vertical smoker because you know what? I'm sick and tired of having to wait to go to Disney World, Ren Fair, the State Fair, the Carnival, and all of that stuff to get me old nasty smoked turkey leg. So today I'm gonna show y'all how to make it at home. Alright y'all, let's jump into it. Well, clearly, you know, we're going to be making smoked turkey legs today. So, as you guys can see, I have three pretty large smoked turkey legs here. Um, so, to make sure that I can really get the flavor, like, through and through these um, turkey legs, I'm actually going to peel the skin back carefully. Now, I actually find that it was a little bit easier to do this because they were, you know, I'm not going to say that they were frozen, but they were still slightly unthawing over at this stage. So it actually made it a lot easier for me to kind of pull that skin back. But you want to make sure that you take your time and that you don't rip up the meat or that you don't tear the skin. Because, of course, you want it to look really, really pretty. So essentially, just take your fingers, slide it underneath the skin, and just naturally let the skin pull up from that membrane. And if you have to, you can go in with a little paring knife, which you'll see me do in a few moments, just to kind of loosen it up just a little bit so that we can go on ahead and pull it back. And like I said, the reason why I'm doing this, it, doing this is because I wanna make sure that I am getting seasoning on all of the meat. Now, typically the ones that you get from like the state fair or from like your local county fair, to be honest, I don't even know if they even be putting salt and pepper on them things, for real, for real. And they're still delicious, don't get me wrong. But when you have one like this that's full of seasoning, baby, it, it becomes a game changer. And as you can see, I'm going in with this little tiny paring knife, being very, very gentle, making sure that I'm not ripping up anything, and essentially just, you know, taking my time so that I can pull it all the way back. I'm going to repeat this process for all of these, and then I will come back in a few moments. Alrighty, so now that I got, you know, this pretty much, you know, looking pretty daggone good here, I'm going to finish up this last one. And then once I get all of the skin pulled back on all of these, I'm going to take these over to the sink, give them a quick little rinse off, and then I'm going to take some paper towels and just make sure that I soak up any of the extra water. I don't want any extra liquid on this. So that number one, I can really make sure that all of the seasonings are really going to adhere to these. Now, because you guys know that I'm a partner with Pit Boss, today I'm actually only going to be using Pit Boss seasonings. Now, the first seasoning that I'm going to go in with, you guys are probably going to be like, well, this don't make sense. It says that it's for burgers. Just so you guys know, most of the Pit Boss seasonings are interchangeable. You can put them on whatever you want. And this bold burger is perfect because it's butter, salt, and pepper. So I'm actually gonna use that as my base layer, which is exactly what you want. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of butter flavoring. It's already gonna make it a game changer. And to be quite honest, even if you didn't use any other seasonings and just use just this, they would still be absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna make sure that I'm going with the light coating. I'm not gonna to go too, too heavy because I do have another seasoning that I'm gonna put on the top, but you do wanna make sure that you're being generous and you do wanna make sure that you're covering up all of the meat. Now, once you get that done, you guys know where we're going. You're gonna actually go ahead and now start to put the skin back in its place. So now you have this beautiful layer of the salt, the pepper, the butter flavor already on the meat itself. And then we're going to pull the skin back on all of them. And then we're gonna go in with the next seasoning. So let me get all these pulled back and I'll be back in a moment. Thank you. 
And as you guys can see, I'm making sure that I'm really pulling on this so that it can be nice and taut. So that way that skin doesn't go sliding down when it starts to cook. Now to top it off, I'm gonna go in with the Texas barbecue rub, which is brown sugar, paprika, honey. Or I think that was hickory honey or hickory one of the two. Um, and this is gonna give it some great coloring, okay? Um, it's also gonna give it great flavor, but this is this is really gonna give it that beautiful, beautiful red color that you're looking for. And just that little bit of brown sugar is gonna help tame out some of the saltiness, which is also the reason why you wanna make sure once again, that you don't go too, too crazy with any of these seasonings. A little bit will go a long way. You know, turkey legs in general, to me, already kind of have a lot of flavor, especially when you're just naturally smoking them. So you don't really have to go too, too crazy, but you want to make sure that you're covering all of the surfaces. So I'm going to get all these seasoned up. And then when I come back, I'll give you guys the next instructions. Alrighty guys, so once you get your turkey legs all situated, fully seasoned, you wanna cover these up and put these in the refrigerator overnight. I did them overnight. I would say you could do it a minimum, maybe three hours and it would be just fine, but I went ahead and did it overnight. If you're gonna do it, just do it up. So then the next day, what you're gonna do is take it out of the refrigerator and I'm actually gonna cook mine on a wire rack. It's just gonna make it easier for me to take them in and out of my smoker later on down the line, just so you guys know. But you wanna allow these to sit out while your smoker is getting at temperature. As y'all can see, baby, my smoker was smoking. It was cold as hell outside that day. Let me tell you right now, it was absolutely freezing outside. But I have my smoker preheated here at 275 degrees. And these are actually gonna cook for about three, three and a half hours. You're not gonna really mess with them. You don't have to, you know, keep going in and messing with them. After the first hour, I went in, gave them a little spritz. I would say probably on every hour, I came in and gave it a spritz. But beyond that, you don't really have to do much. Um, at the two hour mark, which is what you're about to see here in a few moments, um, at that stage, I went on ahead and checked it for the temperature. This is actually, this is actually maybe more so around the two and a half, close to three hour mark. And I was already reading at about 165, 180 actually, even on some of them. And for poultry, you wanna make sure that it reads 165. At 165, your meat is fully cooked. So as you can see, like it's reading 202 there. Some of them were reading 180. So at this stage, these are actually fully done. But we still are gonna let these go a little bit longer because I want them to get a little bit more tender and I want the color to get a little bit darker. And I'm actually gonna also flip these over and just give it another little light dusting of seasoning. Close it back up and I'm gonna let it go for an additional hour. So like I said, all together, these took maybe about three and a half hours, but as you guys can see, these look absolutely beautiful already and they're still not even done yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm gonna close this back up and let this go for a little bit longer and I will see you guys when they are all done. All right, y'all, so now that I have my smoked turkey legs out, these are reading one more time. I'll put my um, thermo pen in here. As you can see, they're reading about 180, which is perfect because you want them at about 165. I'm actually gonna allow these to rest for about 15 minutes and then it's gonna be time to try it out. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just want y'all to get one good close up of this bad boy before I go in and take this good here bite. Hopefully y'all can, hopefully y'all can see and hopefully this damn thing is staying focused. All right, y'all. I am ready to go. Let's 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 give this a try. All right, here we go. Y'all. Y'all. Look at how Look at how tender. When I tell you This is so Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm.
Whoa. Okay. This is actually incredible. This is better than any smoked turkey leg I think I've ever actually had in my life. And I'm not even trying to be funny. I didn't even brine this. And this is falling. I mean, look at look at how easily this is coming off. Mmm. Okay. I gotta go. Okay. I'm about to... I'm about to tear this up. Look, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Make sure y'all try this recipe out if you guys have a smoker or a grill, whether it's a vertical smoker or any form of a smoker, you can actually do this on. Whew. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to tear this up. Do you hear me? Thank y'all for tuning in. And as always, y'all baby stay cute and take care. Bye.